and USMLE be subject specific. Like if someone completes MD Path or MD Micro, what are the pathways to go to US? Uh, so uh, the thing is that uh, like even if you're a resident, like if you're a PG student, once you go to the US, uh, you will have to uh, go through the course again. Like if you're an uh, if you're a pathologist from India, you will have to give the step one, step two, the entire process which we as resident applicant has to give, you will have to go through the same process because unfortunately they don't tend to, they don't actually uh, recognize uh, the postgraduate degrees other than the ones from the US. Uh, us so like you'll have to repeat the course and obviously it'll it, it actually the thing is that uh, it, it shows that it shows your dedication in that subject so obviously you have a better chance of matching because obviously you'll be having field experiences regarding that subject you will be ha- ob- if you're a postgraduate student you will definitely be having some research papers with you so all those things will help but yeah ultimately you'll have to go through the same process and uh, still you'll have to yeah work on your cv as well Okay. But only that, you, only that you, you might have an added added advantage. That's all. And there is one more thing which I wanted to mention was that like uh, there is a thing like USMLE uh, the year of graduation also matters like uh, the less than three years within a three years of graduation you have a higher chance of matching. Uh, so like the older graduate you get you will have to provide justification like for example if you have a PG course if you have a PG degree with you obviously it's justified why uh, you are like why you are an old graduate. So yeah. Okay, okay, got it. 